I am back with another video. I am going to be building on the Lego Batmobile. Uh, I know I haven't been on in a while, so remember go like, subscribe, comment if you uh, have any suggestions on this. Uh, let me know in the comments. I probably will take them because I need all the help I can get. So let's get started. Alright, well I got some pieces sorted up, I was trying to find some decent black pieces in certain angles and some of the grays and stuff like that, so yeah, it's going to be a process, I, I am probably going to just go ahead and stick the wheels back on uh, instead of using the tank tracks. I like how the front looks, but I don't know if it'd work like that in the back. But I don't know. Not too sure how I'm gonna do it yet, so stay tuned and just keep watching. Alright, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this back end off. Uh well at least get this tank tread off of this side. And then we're gonna start working on the inside of that gearbox maybe to try to accommodate the wheels again so I don't know but I like kind of like the tank tread but I kind of want to make it back to like a normal Batmobile and try to soup up the gear ratio stuff and make it a little bit faster so let's start with what wheels we're going to need First off, I've got a few wheel combinations and selections out here with colors and different wheel sizes. So let's go ahead and start with that.
right, well, I tried to turn it on and it needs to charge. It's been sitting there, I guess, for so long it ran out of like the battery power. So it's charging for the time being. And I gotta clean up all this stuff before I start putting some more pieces on it. But it looks better, I think, with the wheels on it. But I could choose any of these colors to put on it and I was thinking the red ones look really awesome with those tires and then maybe put some red accents into the Batmobile I don't know I don't want to make it my own kind of but we will see after it gets charged all right we're gonna set up this Batmobile it's been charging for a while now, uh, probably about 45 minutes. So we're going to test out the wheels and see if everything works. All right, we got everything set up on this little makeshift tire stand so the tires are up off the ground. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And... See what we can do. Okay, I see that tire is wobbling. Still. And let's see if these still work. Okay, the lights still work and it still goes back and forth like it's supposed to. And that little uh, fire part uh, still spins when the wheels ro rotate might make that fire end a little bit better but that is totally bent so I'm gonna have to see what that is about okay I realized this stick right here is bent as you can tell, uh, well, if the remote was on, you could see the sticks moving back and forth. It's kind of crazy. The other side doesn't look too bad. So you can see the other side is moving back and forth, kind of lopsided. Well, the other thing is the wheels in the front if I have them that far out, it works just fine. But if I have them this far out, they hit on that right there. So I'm going to have to figure out a stance that brings the back part uh, out more. So yeah it's a little bit more work but we're gonna go with that so stay tuned and we'll see what we can do okay so I have uh, torn off the front end I mean not really I just took tires off but I am going to shore up the front end and probably use these kind of tires and rims but with those red rims i don't know yet i could switch them up whenever i want to so i kind of tied back the lights because i'm going to end up using these lights on the front i already have the back hooked up and we'll work on the front first then we'll work to the way backwards because uh, the front's already basically short up I just got to get it a little bit stronger and just put some detail on it so yeah I'm gonna keep going on this okay I uh, didn't realize this when I was building it in the beginning that it's a little off-centered 
So I'm trying to fix it and shore it all up because when I started taking apart the front end, I noticed it's set by a three. As you can tell right off the bat with that four that's on the top of that battery box. But we'll get it going. Let's uh, see where I can get to on cleaning all this up forgot I only had like a limited amount of pieces and I was waiting on parts so dun 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 okay last night I worked on it a little while and I shored up the front end a lot sturdier I still need to like connect that right there but I wanted to build a little bit of a front end first before I connected that but it works in Drives pretty decent. I mean, not drives, but turns pretty good. But that's as far as I got so far. Uh, I'm going to keep working on it. So stay tuned for the next little update. Okay, I'm about done on this video for the time being. The back end still needs to be redone a little bit but it is working just fine. And I upgraded the front. Looks pretty good so far, but I, I need to build, uh, I need to build some wheel wells to hold these lights. And the way the, the thing turns, I wanna put the lights up on those. So, I made it a little, a lot stronger in the front end. Alright, so I'm going to end the video right there. Uh, go like, subscribe, comment. Peace.